It is the award season, and tonight Hollywood is celebrating the 18th annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. Yeah, the speeches, yeah. the clothes, the uh, memorable yeah. events. Yep, we've got it all covered for you. And first, we're going to start out with Sam Rubin. He is live at the Shrine Auditorium. Actually, wait, did you move to a party? Did you move on us, Sam? Where are you now? It's across the street, I think. Right? Uh, speaking of a party, uh, Mary Beth, indeed I did the big after party. Uh, in fact, to get out of the Shrine, you have to go through the party. Our producer, Alvin, just, uh, how many girls do you know at this party? <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's startling. Busted. It's just uh, shocking. In any event, uh, Jessica will bring you inside the party activity. Let's talk about what happened inside the Shrine at the SAG Awards. You know what? They seem to win every single award for which they're ever nominated. It's undeniably the most popular comedy on television. And the actor goes to the cast of Modern Family. I think it was the late, great W.C. Fields who said... Never work with kids or animals. Well, he can't kiss my... Oh. <laughs> on behalf of the entire cast and crew, the writers and the producers, and all the great guest cast we had on our show this year, we just want to thank you for letting us all be a part of all your families. Oh, that was cute to say. Backstage, of course, press always focusing on Sofia Vergara and um, her underwear. Sometimes she elects to wear it uh, to award shows. Other times she doesn't. Uh, here is the Q&A about that. Remember at the Grammys, excuse me, at the Golden Globes, you said you were commando. I never said that. Yes, you did. You said you had no underwear on. By the way, by the way, said you said the word gamer on the word. I didn't this guy is literally trying to get He's the commando feel. one. So no, what's, I always what's wear the report underwear. tonight? <laughs> I always wear underwear. It's just that they're very tiny. <laughs> I mean, you could say they're almost no underwear, but there is underwear. Is it Kmart underwear? <laughs> it's under there. Yeah, well, there, I, I hope that sorts it out. Earlier, we caught up with some Modern Family members uh, on the red carpet. You told me SAG Awards are the most fun because... Yeah. Um, it's it's really fun to get up during commercial breaks Ooh. and run around and go introduce yourselves to people. But then you start hearing that countdown. It's like five, four, three, and you have to be like, "Well, it's nice to meet you." And You're totally like schmoozing that. during commercial break. Well, no, I just want to meet people. There's so many <laughs> cool people here. All right. Well, they uh, got a lot of cool people here, a lot of people to meet. Of course, we wouldn't do a red carpet without the bell of the ball. Jessica Holmes is here as well and has had a chance to doing talk to... Doing the bump. That's what Betty White's doing. <laughs> I mean, she hasn't come I'm out. I'm telling you, she is not She may never come out. It was a lot of fun in there. We just took a little bit of a peek. But speaking of Modern Family, of mm. course, a show that sweeps all the awards, we had a chance to talk to little Sarah Highland, and you know what she said about her sister oh, on the show. Okay, Ariel. Throwing back Shirley <laughs> Temples. Here's what she had to say. From the whole group, the Modern Family group, who parties the hardest? Who parties the hardest? Like, who's in Aubrey. there embarrassing themselves right now? Aubrey is wasted <laughs> right now. She is, that girl is just kicking back those yeah. cranberry juices. I know, like, man. Those Shirley Temples. Like, nothing. Tell it's ridiculous. <laughs> cranberry juice will do you in every time. I, it does you. Right. You're really, you're a lightweight every time. And Big Bang Theory, how much do we love that show? Many, many fans of the show. Simon Helberg stopped by, and here's what he had to say about losing to Modern Family. How was the party? Uh, it was it was great. I got beaten by Modern Family with their SAG Awards. Literally, they beat oh, you. Yeah, yeah. Concussions and all. Uh, artificial limbs at this point. Oh it's bad. They really are heavy. I got to lift the awards. Yeah. I had, I mean, I had a gun to my head. I had to lift the awards. For Feel it. Feel what it feels like to be a winner. Yeah, yeah. Modern Family said, carry this. Have you felt the SAG Award? How heavy it is? I mean, this is one of the conversations of the evening. It's, un it's 25 pounds. It's a weight. Yes. It is literally a gym weight. It is super heavy. But you know what? If you're a winner, you don't feel you don't feel the pain. It is a weight, but no burden. That's uh, right. Now, on to we get a chance to see a lot of these dresses up close. Let's start with Brad and Angie. <laughs> because when we saw them walk by, we literally, our mouths dropped. And There's there were, nobody there were, sexier. There were crying. <laughs> literally, we saw it. There were literally women sobbing as Brad walked Sobbing. Angeline is wearing like a gunmetal kind of black. It's got a little bit of shimmer. Jenny Packham dress it is. Now, Michelle Williams, gorgeous, of course, My Week with Marilyn, is the character that she was nominated for tonight. Valentino in a beautiful cherry red. And then Leah Michelle from who's, Glee. Who's always kind of controversial on the carpet. She had a slit up to her thigh. <laughs> 
man like you've never seen in a Versace, stunning, sparkly white number. And then, of course, your favorite, your guy, right. George Clooney. Uh, and Stacey Keebler always, and Stacey it's Keebler. a new outfit, outfit every single time. You know what? It's been fun for her this yes, award season. I, I really think she's had a good time. She was wearing a Marquesa black lace. Uh, she really pulls off an evening gown, that gal, I tell you. And so that's kind of our wrap up of the fashion, but we're going to continue to Oh, here's the, uh, Jackie linger. Collins now, Jackie of course. Oh! All right, Jackie, you are uh, no tushy? better observer than you. Right. Uh, that's a very crowded happening party. It's a fabulous party. The band was amazing. A lot of people are dancing. Angelina and Brad looked fantastic, <gasps> as always. What's They're going in the book? Uh, it's all going in the book. <laughs> I, I have to change the names to protect the not so innocent. Very good. But you'll be in this, Sam. Yeah, Definitely. So. Sam's always yeah. in there. <laughs> don't change his okay. name. No, you know how he loves it. <laughs> he loves to be in there. Yes. Jackie. Good to see you. Bye, Jackie. Bye. But you know what? The, the fact is that it, that is quite a, a bustling party, and we would bring the cameras inside. But it's almost—it's Mary Beth would a leave the desk and walk, walk right. It's, it's too happening. It's true. It is too happening. Say, uh, say hello to your friends at Channel Five. Joe. You guys are all winners. We're Americans, <laughs> and we're winners. Stay sexy, Channel 5 watchers. Stay sexy. You know what? We're using that in a promo. They may be, they may be pouring some uh, <laughs> liquor at that party, I think. That's my they sense. may be. So, <laughs> Sam's such a popular guy here. <laughs> such a popular guy at the party. Thank you so oh, hey. much. Thank you so much. Sophia, how are you? Sophia Vergara. Every... <laughs> <laughs> do you want us to? Do you, do you, we can borrow? Do you want some adjustments? I would kiss Sophia to give her lipstick. I would. Why is it that every single time you go to that press room, the only thing they want to talk about is underwear? I don't know. Can you blame them? <laughs> How was the party? But he's too close. I mean, <laughs> bad shot. <laughs> I think I think that would be very the hard wrinkles. to do. No, no. <laughs> no wrinkles. No, no. Was it fun? Who'd you dance with? Hey, I, da I didn't dance. I was mingling. Mm. I mingled with George Clooney, Brad Pitt, um, who else? Marilyn Streep. Mar oh, Everybody yes. was and, and mingling. Here's, but here's the thing. They no, I was mingling with nobody. I was just with... <laughs> you were sitting in the corner. I doubt that. I was just with Julie Boyne talking. <laughs> but all these people you mentioned, honestly, they know that show, which they love, and they know they, you now. Yes, they're they're all fans. You know, I'm so I can't believe that I'm here and that I'm enjoying this. For me, this is like if I won, because just to be able to come to to an event like this and be part of it, like like I belong, it's like. Well, you do belong, and you did you win, do. by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, I won. Modern Family won. <laughs> Congratulations. I, let's show them my statue. Where's the award? Oh. Yes. It's Look how heavy this thing is. He's naked. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. yeah. He's naked again. Yeah. Where are you going to put him? I'm going to put him with my other one that I got next last year. That's great. Oh, the got a pair. <laughs> got Very a good. Pair. Be next to each other. Bye, so Thank you so much. Yeah. Can I get a quick photo with you? That's a grab, so we're happy wow. about that. Wow. Boy, that never gets... You know what? Maybe we should... <laughs> we should leave yes. you with Sophia. <laughs> To and a you know, Rick and Mary Beth. <laughs> you, you know, guys, Rick is just relieved she's wearing underwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, that's understandable. Rick, we right? like to get to the bottom of things, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll talk later. Well, I'll, I'll actually, write you no, an email. Okay, or maybe guys. Upset. One of those. Thank you, guys. We'll talk to you in the next half hour. Oh, Jim, Jim, it's going it. to be hard to top that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can yeah, we just well, skip weather? We've got a hot weather forecast coming up at the end of the week. Speaking of hot, she was Whoa. looking very hot. She always hot. looks good. Va, va, boom. Wow. Tonight, Hollywood celebrating its top performers at the 18th Annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. We want to go back to Sam. We've been hitting him all evening. Let's go back to Sam. He's been following all the action. He is there at the Shrine. And we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the people who walked away with the actor again tonight. Sam. Indeed, we are Rick and Mary Beth. Hello once again from the Shrine. Judy Greer, who uh, is so great uh, in The Descendants. All right, here's the thing. Some movies uh, received a lot of awards tonight, others didn't. Did that dim the enjoyment of the evening for you at all? Wait, we're live, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it did. A little. <laughs> I wanted to win. Is that a bad thing to There's say? There's nothing wrong about that. <laughs> I wanted to win, and I really wanted George to win, but, um, you know, he didn't and we didn't, but I still had a really fun night, and I feel like everyone who got nominated so deserved it, so I can't be too upset. Well, you know what? Let me show you one a winner who had a very good night, and I think, I think Viola Davis inspires everybody. Would you? Well, you know, I wasn't up against her, so I can honestly be very <laughs> excited about her win. Um, I think she deserved it and I think she was amazing. I've seen The Help twice. I read the book once. Um, I, I'm just so excited about the movie and, and her in it. All the girls, Jessica,
Jessica and Bryce Dallas Howard is a friend of mine and and I'm just excited about the film but um, I think she deserved it and I think her speech was beautiful and I think when she accepted the award for the ensemble it was a really beautiful speech well you know what everything you, that you wanted to hear your wishes now Judy will come true here watch uh, Viola Davis's big night Viola Davis And when I woke up and realized how difficult it was to be an actor and how the rejection was so high, then another beautiful face graced the screen when I was in college, and that was Meryl, who just <laughs> always inspires me. What is there but a dream? You can't trade in your dream for another dream. I am so proud to be an actor, and I thank the Screen Actors Guild for this award. You know, there is a weight and a heft to her that you find in very few other performers, very few other people. Here's what Viola had to say to the press backstage. I just think that, you know, a few more people checked my name in the box for whatever reason. And this time, I kind of fooled them. You know, I bought some more time until maybe, you know, I suck in my next role or something. <laughs> but it's hard for me to just go, ah! Beat out Meryl Streep. I'm an actor, you know. I, I feel like I, I'm standing side by side with her and Tilda and Glenn and Michelle. You know what? She's standing side by side with a lot of great actresses, and Viola and I talked personally after that big win. Congratulations. Thank you very we much. talked about she was a double nominee on the carpet and now a double winner tonight. Who would have thought? I know people back home, you could always, you know, hear their little screams and everything. But I mentioned Central Falls High School and Segway Institute for Learning is because, you know, my town in Central Falls went bankrupt this past year, made the international news. And th those kids just need so much inspiration in that town. They just need a visual of something to um, aspire to. You know, they just, some, they've forgotten. Well, I tell you what, I don't think uh, forgotten anymore, Viola, really, really bringing that message. And I thought it was so interesting how she said that as an actor, one of the jobs is to illuminate. And that's certainly what she's doing in her performances and things that matter to her. We're having a lot of fun here at the SAG Awards, but I think Viola brings a different vibe, uh, particularly when you consider all that she's accomplished. More to come from here uh, a little later tonight. We'll go back to you guys. Sam, before you leave, I just wanted to ask you, when we looked at the Golden Globes, it was Meryl Streep mm -hmm. who walked away there, and a lot of people were saying she was probably going to be a shoe in for the Oscar. Now we get Viola that wins tonight. Are they are they kind of co They're leaders going yeah. into the Oscars? It, it, I, I, I tell you what, if you were to ask me, I think Viola Davis is uh, ahead of Meryl Streep, and, and, he, and here's the reason why. Both of the performances are terrific. Uh, Meryl's indelible portrayal of uh, Margaret Thatcher is really something. The Help is a far better movie than The Iron Lady. So I think even though the performances are both wonderful, the overall movie that Viola is in is better. Notice the ensemble cast win tonight. Sure. Yeah. I think that's going to be very helpful come Oscar time. All right, Sam. Okay, and then of course you could also ask the same question as far as George Clooney and am I saying this correctly, Jean Desjardins? Did I, did I yes, pronounce I it correctly? Think you you get an A in your French class, Mary Beth. <laughs> Thank and I you, think sir. prior Thank you. I think I think prior to tonight, everybody, myself included, thought George. that George Clooney yeah. was a lock that for that best year. actor win. Now things uh, may be a little murkier. Uh, the artist is obviously doing very well sure. as well. You know, going into tonight, I thought the Oscars were going to be incredibly easy to predict. Now maybe not so much. Well, that's done. That's good. Hey, Sam, yeah, thank you. We'll talk to you again. It's exciting though when Great you don't know you. who's going to win it going in. I like that.